Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you how you can get started creating a video in Flipgrid. Once your teacher shares that link with you and you've clicked it and you've signed in according to your teacher's directions, you're going to go into Flipgrid and create your very own video. Here's an example of a Flipgrid that I have. If you look here, I have a sample that says, say hello on Flipgrid. There are directions here, and over here you can see that there's just an image, and your teacher might even include a video of them talking, a YouTube video, they could even include a website or other resources they, they want you to click on um, to read or preview before you create your video. So make sure that you check this first if it's anything that's an active link. And then if you come over here, you're gonna see directions from your teacher. There's the immersive reader option that's really helpful if you'd like it read to you. I'll show you how that works. We click play at the bottom. Welcome to Flipgrid. Tap the green plus below to open the Flipgrid camera. Okay, so you can see there that it walks us through all of the directions and you could listen to all of that. You can see right here that there's one response. So that means my classmate, I mean, we can see that's me, but let's pretend that's my classmate, um, has already created a, a video. And because my classmate's video is there, that means my teacher has approved it. So anytime you create a video in Flipgrid, your teacher will preview it prior to posting it onto the Flipgrid page. So when you create a video and if you don't see your sh show up right away, don't worry. It just means that your teacher needs to preview it first and then they'll make it active so that you can share it with others. So let's get started. We have the assignment here and what we do is we would click on this green circle with the white plus sign to record our response. So let's look at how we can record our own response. Okay, here we are. And we wanna make sure that we enable our camera and our microphone to be able to record any videos within Flipgrid. I'm gonna share with you that over here you have two buttons and these are really helpful. This first one will bring back um, the directions from my teacher. So if I need to see what my teacher is sharing, I can, um, or what I need to do, I can have that up for me. There's also an option here to have a sticky note. So if I need any talking points or, or maybe I wanna write out exactly what I wanna say because it makes me feel comfortable, you could do that. So I'm just gonna say hello. So if you remember, I have to share a fun fact about myself and say hello. To get rid of this feature here, I'm gonna go back and click that and I can bring my sticky note up. You can add as many sticky notes as you want. So if you have a lot of things you wanna share and you need a lot of sticky notes, you can have as many as you need and they will not show up in your recording. Okay, now down here, you'll see that you have a toolbar of options. Some of us like to play with different filters. So if I wanna be pixelated and share about myself, I can do that, I have that option. I could make it black and white if that's kind of the, the vibe or the mood I wanna go with. I can have any type of filter I want. So that's something fun that you can play with on your own. And I'm actually gonna to go to no filter. And then here I can add text too. So I could add my name, um, anything that I wanna type right there. I can also add different stickers or emojis that connect. So um, if I love reading or traveling, maybe I would select some emojis that connect with what I like to do. Maybe I'm sharing about my favorite food as well. Maybe I really love eating because I do. And um, maybe those are things I would like to add in there as well. So we'll come back to those too. Um, but there's all types of different ones too. So you can add accessories. Um, you can also add words in here too. So. Uh, maybe a fun fact about yourself is that you love robotics, so you could add that in, or theater, for example. Okay, there's also down here in your toolbar, you will see the drawing tool. You can select the color you want, and you could draw if you want to. So you can see I chose a blue, and I wrote high right here. And to undo or clear, clear will get rid of everything on your screen. Just the undo will get, through, get rid of one thing at a time, so it'll go a little bit slower. We also have the option for those of us who would prefer not to show our face, if we want the blackboard option, we can use that. And we can add stickers, text, or anything right over top. There's also a whiteboard option. And then we also have the option of uploading custom stickers or images that you have saved. So for example, um, here's a picture of Because of Winn-Dixie. So I can upload that on my whiteboard and I could be voiceover, providing voiceover in my recording. This picture will still share, show 
even if I get rid of my white or blackboard option, so it can be there. I'm gonna demonstrate how you can create a video now. So I'm going to begin, whoops, I'm going to begin just by saying hello. There's my text. It's my little speech bubble. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and hit this record button. Hi, everyone. Okay, that was a quick little recording. Now you can see that was two seconds. So I have, I had one minute and 30 seconds that I have the option to use, um, but you don't have to use all of that. And if you look down here, it shows that I just recorded a little bit. Now, if I wanna record a little bit more, all I have to do is hit the record button. However, if you want segments that you can rearrange, you would click next. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like to click next because you know how to click this button um, to record and add on. If you didn't like what you did and you think you're unhappy with it, you can hit redo and start all over again. So I'm gonna hit next so you can see how this created a segment. Hi everyone. There was some dead space here at the beginning. So I could even cut that and trim it down just a little bit on either end, whatever I wanna do. If I don't like it, I can delete it. If I'm happy with it, I'm gonna click confirm. Hi everyone. Okay, there's my video. Now, if you remember, it creates like a segment. So I'm going to go to add more video. I didn't have to do that. I could have just clicked back on my record to just create one long segment that I could pause and record with and then go pause and record. Um, but I did the next button so I could have a segment. So in my next segment here, I'm now going to click on the whiteboard option. And this time, I'm gonna add some stickers of things that I like so that people can see what I like. I'm gonna add a book because I love reading. And I'm also going to add a picture, of just a general traveling picture because I love to travel. And get rid of that now. And let's add a little bit more to this so we can make it interesting. Let's see what we have. I add some of that and let's go down here. We're gonna go, um, see if we can find some traveling emojis or stickers. Oh, here's a map, so I'll put a map on there. So I can make this just like a little bit of a collage if I want to as well. And we'll add one more, just so you can see. And really you can add in as many different things as you would like to add in. Um, so just keep that in mind. I mean, goodness, if you like food, you, there's all types of food you can add in to. Um, so there's just so many different options. And let's see if we can find a book. We'll do a, a emoji of a book too. Okay, so there we go. And again, this is just a basic video to show you how we can do this and how we can record a quick video. Um, but your teacher it, over time may ask you to include more like demonstrating your thinking of a math problem or maybe creating a tutorial. Um, in, the, in the classroom too, we've even used it so that students can take pictures and videos of their science experiments along the way to put together a video um, by the end. So you can also upload videos too. If you go here, you can add a video clip um, too. So that's kind of a, a different level, but if you're interested in exploring that, you could definitely do that. Maybe you have a, a clip, a short one minute clip from a family vacation that you wanna add in. Um, so there's things like that that you could do as well. So now I'm going to add on to my video. I really love traveling and I enjoy reading books. One of my favorite books is Because of Wind Dixie, and I used to read that with my students, which is why it's one of my favorites. Okay. Now, if you remember, I can just click that video if I wanna add on to that same, the same clip. But if I wanna create segments, I always wanna click Hi. next. And what you'll see here is now I have segments that if I ever wanted to rearrange, I could. Um, I don't need to rearrange them in this case, but maybe you found out that you didn't add in an intro, or maybe you wanna add on something different in between these clips. You could always do that and then rearrange. Okay, we're gonna click next, and now it's gonna prompt me to take a selfie. So I'm gonna get some tools here. Let's, let's get some props here. We'll add something different this time. Um, we'll go through some different sunglasses than I used the last time. They're a little bit big, so we're gonna size those down. 
Um, you could also still add text. If, again, if you don't want your picture, you could do the white or blackboard option here too. So I'm gonna leave it with that. Hard to find a way to center it, there we go. Okay, and there's my selfie. I can add in a link if I needed to. I've got my name in there, and now I'm going to submit my video to my teacher, and I'm gonna hit complete. Again, that video is not showing up there yet because you remember, your teacher has to moderate it. That means they have to view it first and approve it. Okay, you can see here that the teacher has now approved my video, and so now I've got another video in here. And so what's really nice is that you'll be able to see friends face-to-face, -face, or if they choose the white or blackboard, um, options, you'll be able to hear their voices, and it's a great way so that we can connect, um, share out, and expand in our learning with whatever our teacher shares with us. So I hope this helps, and I hope you have fun using Flipgrid to incorporate some creativity and some video with your learning.